Supermassive black holes are available at the center of almost every major galaxies present in our universe and their masses can be millions or billions of times the mass of our sun. Sometimes we call these black holes as active galactic nuclei or AGN which is capable of emitting particles close to the speed of light. Now, what could be the reason behind us calling these supermassive black holes an active galactic nuclei? What are quasars? And what is the difference between a quasar and a blazar? We are going to answer all these questions because you guys are watching The Terrestrial Tech. At the center of our home Milky Way galaxy lies a supermassive black hole which we call as Sagittarius A star and we find similar black holes at the center of almost all galaxies present in the universe. Some of them form a disk around them made up of gases, dust and stellar objects. All these things move around the black hole at very high speed and as soon as they get sucked by a black hole their gravitational energy starts getting converted into light. Due to which, we begin to see these centers of galaxy as one of the brightest objects and we call them active galactic nuclei. Some of these active galactic nuclei releases plasma jets at the speed close to that of light and these jets got released along the axis of accretion disk. These black holes are called quasars but sometimes in a very very rare event these galaxies come in such a position when the direction of the jets emitted from their center is directed towards us and then we call them blazars. Therefore, the only difference between blazar and a quasar is that when we look at it at an angle, we call it quasar. But when these jets directly come towards us, then we call it blazar. The jets emit particles towards us at close to the speed of light which are made up of high energy neutrinos. We know this because in 2017 Ice Cube instrument detected them. Well, Blazar was first detected back in 1929. But that time astronomers thought that it is some kind of star whose brightness grows and decreases with time in absolute random manner. And since then we have been using new technologies to study these blazars. One of them is Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope which we established in Earth's orbit that helped astronomers in detecting high energy X-rays and gamma rays which normally gets blocked by the Earth's atmosphere. For now, we know very little about these jets coming from active galactic nuclei. But as time is advancing and new technologies are coming, we will soon get to know new things about them. So that's all for today. I hope that now you know the difference between a quasar and a blazar. Do like this video and share it with your friends. And subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest update. See you guys in next video.